In our video, World Class Education Part 1, we showed how, since 2009, Doug Co. has reinvented and transformed itself and now claims tremendous success at providing a world-class education for the 21st century. Doug Co. is now marketing their ideas across the nation, including a recent innovation summit. Why should Jeff Co. care? Because the new board majority has hired key staff from Doug Co., is implementing the same playbook, and is using some of the same educational consultants with a mission to transform Jeff Co. in the same way. In this video, we look at how this transformation has affected the most vulnerable children, children in special education and poverty. Note, Doug Co. has never claimed their world-class education would help children in special education or poverty. Innovations were never intended for at-risk children. They wanted to move a high-performing district to even higher levels of performance. So what has happened to these children in Doug Co.? Within two years of reform, Doug Co. issued its first strategic plan promising choice, a world-class education, and improved system performance. In 2013, Doug Co. issued an update claiming they had successful results. Student achievement was high, and the district was efficiently operated based on an undefined measure, efficiency dollar amount per student. Sometimes efficiency means reducing costs and educational supports for the smaller population of the most vulnerable children. Doug Co. does not claim to be targeting these children for a world-class education, yet this transformation has affected them. In our video, World Class Education Part 1, we showed how the reforms in Doug Co. have not resulted in out-of-the-park performance, but have actually decreased performance for the general population on many measures. In fact, Doug Co. currently underperforms peer large districts in Colorado in many, many measures. We have compared performance data for the 11 largest districts in Colorado on the front range from 2005 to 2014. This establishes a baseline of peer district performance. There is a strong correlation between poverty levels in a school or district and performance. If you compare test scores between school districts and ignore demographics, you can conclude nothing. This is a line of correlation for reading versus poverty levels for the 11 districts in 2014. Individual districts that fall above the line are outperforming their peers. Individual districts that fall below the line are underperforming their peers. In 2014, Doug Co. underperformed its peers and Jeff Co. outperformed its peers in reading. In the next series of graphs, we will compare the performance trends from 2005 to 2014 of Doug Co. and Jeff Co. relative to the 2014 correlation line of their peer districts. In this video, we compare performance for children in special education and poverty in reading, writing, and math. Here we show reading performance for special education children in Doug Co. and Jeff Co. relative to the correlation line based on 11 of the largest districts from 2005 to 2014. We start with 2005 and successively add years. Note. In all these graphs, the 2014 score is a circle. From 2005 to 2008, both Doug Co. and Jeff Co. increased scores for special education children. In 2009, 
Dugco scores dropped precipitously, while Jeffco scores remained on trend as free and reduced lunch increased for both districts. But after 2009, we see the instability in Dugco scores. Dugco performance has stalled at underperforming relative to peer districts for special education children and is lower today than before 2009. Jeffco has seen very different performance. After 2009, Jeffco has steadily increased scores and is now outperforming peer districts. Increasingly, parents of special education children in Dugco are concerned the needs of these vulnerable children are not being met by their district. Here are the data for writing for special education children from 2005 to 2014. Dugco and Jeffco scores have decreased on average between 2005 and 2014 as free and reduced lunch levels have increased, but they differ in comparison with peer districts. Dugco consistently underperforms while Jeffco hovers between underperform and outperform relative to peer districts. Here are the data for math for special education children from 2005 to 2014. Similar to reading performance before reform, from 2005 to 2008, Dugco scores were steadily increasing, approaching the line of correlation. Scores dropped in 2009. From 2009 to 2014, scores have dropped on average and Dugco is now underperforming relative to peer districts. Jeffco scores have remained relatively unchanged, but because poverty levels have increased, Jeffco has moved from underperforming to performing near the correlation line. Here are the data in reading for children in poverty from 2005 to 2014. Before 2009, Dugco scores were increasing, nearly reaching the line of correlation. After 2009, Dugco scores have been highly erratic dropping and stalling at underperforming. Jeffco has shown steady significant increases in scores and currently outperforms in reading. Here are the data in writing for children in poverty from 2005 to 2014. Before 2009, Dugco children in poverty were performing quite well, hovering around the correlation line. After 2009, scores dropped precipitously and became highly erratic. Given this much instability in scores, it's hard to draw a conclusion for Dugco except to say that in 2014, Dugco is underperforming. Like many performance measures, Jeffco has steadily increased performance scores while free and reduced lunch numbers have increased. Now, Jeffco mostly outperforms.
The achievement gap is the difference in performance between children in poverty and not in poverty. Before 2009, Doug Coe had a smaller achievement gap than Jeff Coe in reading, writing, and math. There is a huge spike in the Doug Coe data in 2009. After 2009, the achievement gap, on average, for Doug Coe and Jeff Coe are equal for writing, but the achievement gap for Doug Coe has increased and is now larger than for Jeff Coe in reading and math. Doug Coe has not outperformed peer districts on any measure of performance for children in special education or poverty since implementing its world-class education model. The achievement gap for Doug Coe has increased significantly. Parents of special education children are becoming increasingly concerned that Doug Coe is not meeting the needs of their children. In contrast, Jeff Coe, a district they call failing, has steadily improved performance on many measures for these children since 2005.